What is going on everybody? Welcome back to this episode of Homeboat Workshop. Guess who is back in the shop with me today? <laughs> we are going to build this cool lighted Halloween decoration. See the little red light up there? Mm -hmm. In the corner of the screen? Uh huh. It's that on. Means, that means it's on. Hey! <laughs> so with Halloween just around the corner, Haley had the great idea to build a cool Halloween decoration. And that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna build this entire project just out of some pine boards that you can get at the home center. This is one that I've glued up to make it large enough to cut out the circle. The circle's gonna be like the moon and we're gonna use this piece of fishing line and a pencil to mark that out. Do you have any idea of how we're gonna do that? We're going to tape this around the pencil like that and then keep it together like that so that we can figure out what shape we can can use. Pretty much. We're gonna use the string is gonna act like a compass and help us draw out a nice round circle. So basically we're gonna wrap that thing around and make it into a compass. And once we did that, we're gonna tape it around that pencil so that we can make the compass. We're gonna make our string roughly six inches. And I'm gonna tie a knot. In the, in the piece of the string so that we can make that compass together of what we discovered for this bat. So now we've got our little homemade compass ready to go. All we need to do is attach a little nail somewhere near the center so that we can draw our circle. Are you ready to hit my finger with a hammer? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so all we need to do is give it a few whacks just so it'll stay. Perfect. I'm not too worried if it leaves a little mark in the wood. We're gonna paint this thing later. Now we're gonna take this loop. We're gonna put that loop over the nail. Now you can just take your pencil and draw a circle, letting the string guide it right around. Oop. Something's gone awry here. <laughs> They made a, look, it made a swirl. Somehow the string was wrapping around the pencil, pulling it in each time. Huh, interesting. Pull it down. There we go. It's kind ah. of nice. Now we got a nice circle that we can cut out on the bandsaw. Now that we have our moon ready to go, now we need some bats to put on the moon. I've got some templates here that we made up, printed out, but they're large enough that they had to print into two pieces. So first off, we gotta tape these dudes together. Just lining them up by eye, and we'll tape them together. Lining them up by eye is very easy. Just in case you didn't know, cause I did. Now I'm gonna cut the bats apart so we can get them positioned on our wood. Kinda hard to cut through tape, you know? Now that we've got them apart, we're going to length them on our wood. Let's do this outside because that spray glue is really stinky. Just we have them done. 
So now I'm going to peel this paper off. Help. We're having trouble over here. On to the next one. This paper does not want to come off. It's sticky! <laughs> I figure now is a good time to sand all the pieces down, making sure they're nice and smooth. Now I'll cut down a few dowels which will be used to attach these pieces together. To mark out where I'm going to put the dowels, I'm just going to lightly trace around the bats in about the spot that I want them to be. Then using a Forstner bit, I'll drill a hole part way through the piece to accept the dowel. Now I'll just roughly position the bat where it needs to go and trace around the dowel on the underside just to get a rough idea where I need to drill the hole. So now the point that we've been waiting for, it is time for what? Painting. We're just gonna use some acrylic craft paint to paint our bats and the moon. What color do you wanna do? Do you wanna do the white or the black? White. Let's do it. Black bats. I'm doing the white moon. We're gonna get this done in no time. Like in one day. Do I have to get the sides? Yeah. All right, I'm gonna need your help with the sides, okay? Yep. So now that we've, Dad's got our one bat painted and I've got the top of the moon painted, we're going to move on in just a few minutes. It's a Halloween project, you by the way. Wait till you see how it turns out. Here's how mine looks like right now. I'm gonna finish. I'll go ahead and paint, paint it. Ooh, ooh. So now we've got our bats and our moon all painted up. It's time to start actually getting this thing together. We found these really cool LED battery operated lights and that's what we're gonna use. All right, so we're gonna try something new. Lights off. All right. <laughs> so. Cool, it worked. Lights off. So to connect the lights to the bats, I'm just going to hot glue them to the back and then I'm going to need to drill a couple of small holes so that I can pass the wire from bat to bat without it running across the front. Now I can feed the wire up through the hole that I drilled and I can begin hot gluing the lights to the back of the first bat. We'll get this first one completed and glued into place before moving on to the last one. Now we're just gonna glue our first dowels in place when Haley's trying to glue my finger in place. <laughs> I glued my dad's hand in place. Yeah! That's good. So first we're gonna put glue on it. And then we're gonna put them in place so that the things glow up. Now that we have them lined up, we're moving on to the next part. It's really hot. Yeah, really hot. After hot glue in the last of the lights, we can finish the assembly. Now we're just gonna add a little glue to the dip and we're good. We're getting him lined up, and then we'll see how this works. Uh. Now we're hammering it in. Let's drill a little hole right about there. You think that's a good spot? Mm -hmm. But it's gonna screw in a little eyelet that we can attach some string to to be able to hang him up. And stop right there. 
perfect. We'll just tie on a little piece of fishing line. As tight as you can. Ah, there we go. We'll just use a little bit of hot glue to attach the box to the back. I thought about using something like Velcro or something along those lines, but I believe this hot glue will work just fine. Should we try it? All right, here we go, you guys. Wow. You, you know what we need to do? What? We need to try it without the lights. Lights off! Mm. Ah. Ooh. <laughs> ah. Ooh. Ah. So I'm really happy with the way this turned out. I think it's really cool. It was a really fun project. What do you think of it, kiddo? Uh, good. Good? All right. This was a pretty simple project. Healy and I had a blast putting it together. This thing is gonna look really cool hanging up on Halloween with trick-or-treaters coming around and everything. And that's exactly what we're gonna do. We're gonna have this thing fired up on Halloween, huh? Halloween is on Wednesday. Yep, Halloween is right around the corner. If you would like to make something like this, you can do pumpkins, watch this video and copy it, or you can do other Halloween stuff, like witches flying around the moon or something. That would be a good one. I think the pumpkins would be a good one too. So thanks a lot everybody for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you enjoyed it. Please comment down below if you must. And that's a must do. You must comment down below. <laughs> so happy Halloween from us here at Home Built Workshop. And until next time, we'll see you later. So guys, like we mentioned earlier in the video, there are many bloopers and fun scenes. There's actually so many of them that I couldn't fit them all at the end of the video. It would have made it way too long. So I'm gonna post a separate video of just our fun moments and bloopers. So be on the lookout for that. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, you might wanna check out some of my other videos, which are linked right here. Also, you can subscribe to my channel as well as my second channel, Inside Home Built Workshop, for some behind the scenes.